So in, in, um, in, in um, the next program, which I'm like excited about because that's going to be launching, is um, real estate investment banking secrets. So after you master the 50K in 90 days, right? Because this is from realtor to investor. Once you master how to just generate your 50K whenever you need to, whatever, the next thing is like, okay, well, how do I get into being an investor? So the real estate investment banking secrets is I'm going to actually teach you how to get properties for pennies on the dollars, like the bank with no mortgage. And then you can actually be the one to create a 30 year mortgage note, a five year mortgage note, a 10 year mortgage note, owning property at a fraction of the cost, right? With no mortgage on there. That's actually what stresses everyone out is all the debt. The, the, the credit card payment and the car payments and the insurance payments and all the cell phone payments and the internet payments. That's what's pulling all your energy and your stress, right? So imagine you're, you're able to buy property with no mortgage on there and you own it outright because the, what's the, the main survival mechanism is a roof over your head, basically, outside of food and water, right? You need to have a roof over your head. Once you have a roof over your head, that's, what, that's why people, that's why real estate will always be so valuable because whether it's a church whether it's a grocery store, whether it's church's chicken, whether it's a farmer's market, you need real estate, you need land, you need building something, right? So now when you, now why are the banks so powerful? And why I tell you guys, you guys are the toilet scrubbers of the banking industry because the banks are the ones that own most of the real estate and all they're doing is they're just putting people into debt. They're using real estate to put other people into debt. So when you guys master this part and you come into the, the real estate bank, real estate investment banking secrets, I'm gonna show you what real investment bankers do with real estate, they, how they get properties for really cheap, and then they, they create these long uh, annuity payments, right? So I'm like, boom, I got this property. I paid 30,000 or it's worth $280,000. Yo, Vanessa, you trying to buy a house? Got you, I, I, you don't wanna be qualified. Just throw me you know, $15,000 down, your payments will be this much for a note, and then now I'm the bank on this property, and if you don't make your payments, then I can legally foreclose on you just like a bank would. Now you have a 30 year payment. You're like, yo, your daughter hits 18. She's got two mortgage payments paying her for the next 15 to 20 years. Boom, she's good. She don't have to be subject to trying to find a job in the marketplace because you set up investments that are gonna pay her for the next 10, 15 years. I'm just saying, like if I'm like trying to plan lifestyle and goal and make sure my family's okay, like the goal is to not have to keep working for money. You wanna take your money and buy assets. That's the name of the game right that's the name of the strategy as soon as now, you start now that's very attractive thank you roland and that's that's what i'm saying that's what it's designed to be so when you start speaking to people in ways that you're like whoa like i definitely want that they're gonna be like how can we work together just because you put present an idea that's so attractive they don't, even, they don't even care. They're just like, yo, the fact that you just put that thought into my head, like I'm super attracted. Like I want to figure out how we can work together. Let me do the, what do I got to do? I want to be a part of this. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like all of your ability to originate and put your deals together comes from the mind of the idea that you're thinking about. That's why you have to keep refining your goals. Okay, cool. That's what you, okay. How can we make it better? How can we do it better? How can we make it more exciting? How can we make it more attractive? How could we get, and, this, and that's all I'm doing is I'm showing you that like, I'm moving you from this lame ass idea that they have people programmed into doing, right? To how to really get into the field of where like the wealthy are. And it, it's not super hard to get into that field. It's just that they've had more time and they have more access to these strategies, but it can be done, right? You can leave a really, really, really fat legacy to your, your heirs, okay? Because we haven't even gotten to like life insurance and all that stuff. But once you start owning real estate with no mortgage on there for a pennies on the dollar, right? Now you can become the bank. And once you can become the bank and put other people into debt, there's so much you can do. You have so much value because you have something where someone is obligated to pay for Now we're talking about where time is, this is why time is money. Oh, time is money. You know, they don't make dollars. It don't make sense. Like they don't even know what they're talking about. Like time is literally money because like, let's just say like if, if someone is, if you have employees and when that employee comes in and you pay them 20 bucks an hour, but they're making you $400 an hour, like it, it's just like clockwork, your math is done. All they got to show up and you're making $400 an hour, you're paying them $20 an hour. So their time is your money. Got it? Because if they don't show up to work, what happens? You got to go do it. So now you lost your time. So when you own property with no mortgage on there 
and you have $200,000 in equity and you're like, yo, I'm going to finance you. You don't have to go to a lender. I'm the bank, right? And, I, and then we'll talk about different strategies where people literally buy properties, they fix them up, and then they do these rent to own or lease to own situations where they're putting the person on. If they miss a payment, they could have paid for five years and didn't get their credit and refinance under their name, and they miss a payment as part of the agreement. They legally can lose everything they've invested into the property, right? So you want to be in a position of power of where you can put people into contracts and into debt because you have an asset that people are willing to pay a lot of money for or are willing to pay you long term because it's that valuable. Having a roof over your head, people are willing to go into a more tier, more gauge, which means pledge to death. They're willing to go in. Most people don't get the a home to their 40s and 50s and then they die trying to pay off their property a lot of times or they refinance it and be, they never get out of debt. They actually are in this obligation to death, a mortgage, a pledge to death. See what I'm saying? So if you have the ability to have someone pledge to you till you're, they're dead, that's power. And that's what we're really talking about. We're really talking about obligation putting people under obligation. That's all, that's all it is. So we're going to move. Oh my from- God, dude. I, I was trying not to laugh, but dude, that's, that's actually, that's pretty, that's pretty dope. Yeah, bro. Like I told you, I'm not, I, I'm not playing around. I'm giving you guys the jewels, the gems, but I just, not to get you too excited, but I, I want to get you excited so that you understand that you want to put more into like believing in yourself and more into your goal because the more you're excited about your goal and it, it, it could be a small goal but if that goal means a lot to you and it excites you that's all you need that's that's your crack that's your meth <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's your healthy energy boost that's your energy drink right the excitement of achieving something that means something that's important to you no matter how big or small it is and then finding out a strategy of how you could hit the